Hi, my name's Laura. I'm one of the trainee instructors here at Lenjikmuir. I've been here since January 2022, so about a year and a half. I did a gap year with SU Scotland and it kind of was coming to a natural end and I didn't really know what else I was going to do. So thankfully this job sort of popped up and I wanted to stay with SU. I worked down in Ayrshire. I did part centres and part regional work. So it was a good opportunity for me to move out. I'd finished school for a good few years. They provide housing, um, so fantastic opportunity to do that. Move away, grow some independence, meet new people. Uh, the team here are so amazing. We're very jokey here at Lendrick Muir, but I think in the end, you know that if you have any issues or problems, you can always turn to them for support and they'll do anything for you. I loved working with young people. Um, I found that out from my gap year. And then I think just a job in the outdoors with lots of variety. Day to day is very hands-on, very practical. We do about four sessions a day of actual activity instructing. And then also we do sort of maintenance, uh, fixing things up as well. I knew absolutely nothing about coming into my particular job role. Uh, I didn't know anything about tying knots, about not much about archery, anything like that. Um, so they send you on training courses. They train you up here as well, which is really good. And in terms of progression, I've already learned a lot um, in my time here and continue to learn more. We have like morning thoughts every morning um, and it's been nice to sort of be challenged and sort of think more about our faith and how we can do that in a work setting. I know most people don't tend to do that, it's like work and faith are separate, but for us they're sort of merged together. I have like a, a very noticeable tattoo and it's of the date of my baptism. Um, so a lot of kids ask me about that and it opens up a conversation of like what is baptism and like Jesus and just really nice snippets of conversation. It doesn't have to be massive. Uh, I don't really tend to share a lot about my, my life story with young people or guests unless they really do ask, but it's just those nice little conversations. We talk to the kids about everything that we're doing. Uh, so for example, if we're on bungee trampolines, we're talking to them that we're putting on the harness, we're telling them that we're swapping the cords out. And for a lot of kids, they're not used to that. Like adults just go in and do something for them. They don't get told that that's happening. And kids are always encouraged to speak to us and to share their opinions and to know that they always have a choice. They're never forced to do anything that they don't want to do and we'll support them through anything.